infinite void. Hi. So today I want to make another video. Um, this video is going to be about uh, connecting Arduino to pure data. So Arduino uh, will control the pure data patches that I create. Um, this is pretty si a simple patch that I made. Um, it's just using the OSC tilde to create sounds. So we'll adjust it with the uh, rotation sensors that I have. Um, so to begin with, um, we're going to use the Arduino board. So this Arduino board right here. And we'll use that to connect. And then you'll also need a, a brick shield. Uh, this is version 4.0. So this one, um, this shield, I think it's been discontinued. I can't find it online anymore. So it's really hard to get. So I'm not so sure how you can get this um, shield. Um, you can probably get it from shipping from China, but I don't know if that's safe or not. Like I usually like things that are, are like shipped with a well-known uh, e-commerce service so yeah and then you also need a rotation sensor so i'm going to be using three in this project but you can use a total of six um, so this is the maximum um, for the project but i think three is enough um, because i'm just going to showcase um, how this gonna, is going to work and I'm going to teach you how to put this all together. So you actually uh, connect the shield to the um, Arduino Uno. So this is the shield and then you're going to connect it to this Arduino Uno like this. There you go. So it looks like that. And then you can take the rotation sensor, the fidgets, and connect it to the analog input. So this is a simple one right here. Um, there's also analog um, inputs um, over here and digital inputs um, above here. So yeah, so let's connect it to the simple one, um, to simple port. So we're going to connect one here and then I'm going to connect uh, another one. In, and then my third one will um, go into the board. And then you'll need a USB uh, dongle right here to actually connect it to the computer so it gets power to the computer and uh, uh, matches the computer. Well, it gets power to the computer and it also um, connects to the computer um, as well. So it can interact with each other. So I'm going to plug it in. So um, as you can see, it's plugged in now. Uh, you can't really see it in the monitor, but uh, this is actually a green light right here. The light is green, so it's plugged in, so it's actually working. So now let's um, get started with the programming stuff on the computer. So you'll need your computer open. So right here is the Arduino Uno uh, software. And over here is the Pure Data software. So this is all the code that's um, being instructed. So instructed into Arduino is over here, the Arduino Uno. And over here is the Pure Data code um, instructions so that we can get it to actually work. So to, to get this to run, um, you'd first go to the Arduino Uno and you go to tools and you make sure that the board Arduino Uno is, is selected. And then um, I'm going to be using COM4 for the Arduino Uno. So we're going to make sure that COM4 is selected and then you press run right here, run, and you run it onto the board, the code. So this shows that there's no errors in the console. Um, it's done uploading, so this is perfect. It's working correctly. Okay, let's go to Pure Data and let's start um, the code. So I'm gonna press Open 4. Open 4 means I'm opening the COM4, so that port. So I'm gonna click that and it should activate um, the connection. 
So as you can see, this the numbers are um, changing. So that means the, the connection is actually working on the Arduino Uno. So now I'm going to go um, play with my rotation sensors and adjust the sounds coming out of them. So this uh, will adjust the sounds in pure data. So the knobs and stuff will uh, change the sounds for the instructions. So the instructions we're using um, OSC tilde. So the OSC tilde is um, an oscillator. Um, a sine wave oscillator and then um, we'll sh show the sounds coming out of that um, right now So now you've reached the end of this video and thanks for watching. Um, all the code is in the description box. Um, you can find it on my GitHub page. It's on uh, my GitHub page is uh, username is infinite void. So you can find everything there. I'll give a direct link um, in the description box. So just check the, just check the description box for it. Um, I know this is a bit more complicated. It's a complicated project um, because you could just buy a, like a MIDI controller like this and um, you can just connect it um, you can just buy it and then you just can connect it and it will just function properly and I can maybe make another tutorial on that where um, you can use a MIDI controller with um, pure data so yeah um, but if this is a pro this is a, just a fun electronic project which is really nice uh, so that's why I like that okay I'm gonna stop rambling now and uh, you the video will end after this so I'll see you in the next video bye